Okay, so <laughs> Valentine's Day is so last week. What are ways to spring clean your love life? Well, here with more is therapist Amy. Amy, pronounce your last name for me. Hash K. Hash K. I love it. I want to say Hash Kate. For some I like reason. that better, actually. Know. But uh, thank you so much for being here. How was your Valentine's Day? It was day? nice. It was good. It was. Yeah, it was very good. cool. Yeah. All right, so it's time to help folks out. So, what's your first tip? Well, it's a timely topic because we are fresh out from Valentine's yes. Day. It's a reflective time for many because it's virtually impossible to avoid taking a realistic look at your love life or lack thereof. Mm -hmm. So if this past weekend left you feeling a little discouraged or maybe even completely optimistic about finding that ideal mate in 2015, there yeah. are a few tips to follow. The first one is to jettison those dud dates. Okay, what do you mean, Amy? <laughs> I mean by that, right, is to immediately move on from relationships, potential relationships that clearly have no future. Oh, wow. So okay. follow your intuition, uh -huh. give others the benefit of the doubt, time to shine on a, on a date and show what they have to offer. Yeah. But if after two to three dates you find yourself putting this person into the category of Mr. Right Now, you will have totally wasted your time oh. when they evolve into Mr. Wrong later. Oh, okay. I like the way you finished that up. Okay. Number two, you say unpack your emotional baggage. A lot of people mm -hmm. have a hard time with this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This involves addressing any unfinished business from previous relationships, mm -hmm. habits, hurts, hangups that have left you feeling insecure, maybe feeling abandoned or noncommittal, because these issues have a way of weaving their way into current relationships. Mm. And it's an important thing to consider because research in couple relationships shows that we attract roughly the same level of emotional health from others as we have. So it's oh. important to take a look at those issues because when we begin to grow and change and evolve yeah. and raise our standards, we will attract that like-minded energy from okay. others. See, that like-minded energy, that's real. A lot of people, mm -hmm. I think they discount it and say, ah, energy, whatever, you know, but mm -hmm. it's real, right? Absolutely. Okay. Number three, you say <clears throat> streamline your schedule. This can be challenging as well because we don't have that much control over our work hours. It's so true. Streamline that schedule. And by that, you know, I mean, you've got to make time to date. If yeah. you never make time for dating and you don't get yourself out there, mark my words, nothing is going to happen. Okay. Love rarely lands in our lap. Yeah. So if you're really busy, make time for a weeknight coffee date, 20 mm -hmm. to 30 minutes, just a casual get to know you, as opposed to making a weekend night out yeah. of it with dinner and a movie. Yeah, because nowadays a date could be coffee, you know, in the mm -hmm. morning or, or brunch or something like that. It doesn't have to be 5 to 9 or 9 o'clock after work. Absolutely. Okay, jumpstart your love life. Right. Ultimately, we want to jumpstart that love life. We want to think positively. And it doesn't, you need to be physically and emotionally ready. Now, that doesn't have to mean going out and getting a new makeover. Okay. Sometimes it should, though. Yeah. Right? For a lot of us, yeah. Yes, it should. Yeah. But it's all about confidence. So what will draw that out of you? So center your dating activities around things that you are already passionate about. Oh, Okay, like yeah. if you love going to the gym, Jason is a, is a gym rat, so that would be a yeah. good date for him, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Get out of that dating box, hiking, painting, go to a cooking class. My single friends used to take their dates to yoga classes. Oh, okay. So get out of that box and begin to expect the unexpected for 2015. Now, Rachel's dates could be really exciting because she's our resident foodie, <gasps> so she could take her dates to like some of the finest there restaurants in Vegas, There you go, and Vegas, with this right? town, it's... it's Unlimited. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Amy, thank you so much. Some good advice there. I'm trying to help my single friends out. Rachel, that, <laughs> I think you, you do well. You do well. Uh, thanks. Yes. Yeah. Is she saying that I've got game? I yeah, think so. You got game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>